Today we're talking about the ultra compact Brighton Star 28 millimeter F2.8. Now, as some of you may know, I am a fan of the Sigma FP. And one thing that I've been doing with the FP lately is trying to find lenses that makes the Sigma FP light and small and just as compact as possible. Previously, I've looked at the Lumix 26 millimeter F8. I do also have a seven artisans 35 millimeter F5.6, but in my pursuit of finding just a really small lens for the Sigma FP, I actually reached out to Brighton Star to see if I can test out their 28 millimeter F2.8. Now with all that out of the way, let's talk about what I think about this lens, starting first with the overall image performance. The image of this lens is going to be surprisingly really good. And with this lens being so small, I was actually really surprised to find that it is offered at an f 2.8, which is crazy to think about considering the fact that there are lenses in this same market of small compact lenses that don't even come close to f 2.8. Beyond that, you're gonna have really good chromatic aberration control, which again, I was really surprised about. A lot of the times these smaller lenses don't have a ton of glass in them. Now there is gonna be some focus breathing which should not come as a surprise, but the biggest downside for me when it came to this lens is the minimum focusing distance. The minimum focusing distance is honestly just sometimes really annoying with this lens and is honestly the only thing I didn't like about shooting with this lens. But other than the minimum focusing distance of this lens, I've been really happy with the overall image performance. And so let's go in and talk about the build of the lens. This lens is super tiny and very well built. It is made of brass. And while it is basically a body cap lens, it does offer a focus lever and an aperture ring. And that's something that really intrigues me about this lens is the fact that they're able to pack in so much into this little, little tiny lens. Now I said before, the lens is available in like an M mount. And so you can adapt it to a number of different mirrorless mounts. I'm currently adapting it to like an L mount. You do also have a filter thread of 25.5 millimeters. Again, this is a tiny, tiny lens. And really as far as Sigma FP owners makes the Sigma FP damn near pocketable. And so for that, I love the construction of this lens, not to mention it just looks super cool as well. So with that being said, let's talk about who this lens is for. This lens is for anybody that really just wants a compact setup, someone that wants a compact street photography or even travel lens. 28 millimeters offers you that kind of nice in between from 24 millimeters to 35 millimeters. And so it really is that nice in between. So if you're looking for a compact street photography or travel lens, then I would definitely consider checking out the Brighton Star 28 millimeter F 2.8. And so that's it for me. If you guys do have any questions about this lens, let me know in the comments below or reach out to me on Instagram and we can start a conversation there. If you are an L mount user, consider subscribing to the channel. We talk about L mount all the time here on the channel. So again, consider subscribing. As always, thank you for joining. Go and find your journey. Go embrace life. I did it wrong. Peace. I've been doing that sign off for seven years now. I should probably have it down pat.